Dear Maggie, pre-selling your body to the boy you were supposed to hit. The day you were born, your tears fumed so much it set up the smoke detector. And instead of putting you in a baby's cot, they wrapped your body in a blanket and tried to calm you down with a tranquilizer or extinguisher. You really can't tell the difference any longer. You're used to people trying to quench your fire. Which is why on the bed that night you cried. Because you didn't think a man could love you that much. Made you a priority on his time. Tabled your issues as his and ironed them out. Your first man was unstable like your first period. I know you miss your men. Sees an opportunity to make you go bankrupt. So he keeps you at the edge of the river. He asks you to show him your scars. You replied, aren't the wounds in my words enough? Once he tried to cut corners because he couldn't hit on you. You are a nail without a head. The sex came with a healing complex. You built towers of sin with one hand and hope to God that in this Babel, when your language changes, your moans will sink in as one. The second man was a photographer for orgasms. When he zoomed in, he found fake pixels surrounding your profile. Eyes to eyes, nose to nose, tongue to tongue, you're one body away from losing eternal life. You try to enjoy the moment until you were strong enough to make your own commandments, blaspheming in every breath and gaps while your guardian angel stood in shock. <laughs> Unable to decide if he should be a voyeur and just watch, or he should report to God. I know sometimes you are a Baptist, and I hope this John knows how to swim through a river he created. Quick question. Have you ever loved someone who makes your feeling a performance? Uses your tears for you, and your anger as protection? How to pre-sell your body to a boy whose dreams had led him way before you were bold enough to do so. One, hold your body like you would a sacrifice. Wash off every feeling and love you had. It's better if you did it yourself. That way, when pity swallows you whole for three days and drops you off on the shores of resentment, you'll find your body shipped back to you in pieces you never knew body parts could be shredded into. Two, make dolls out of your heart and share them. Give one to your mother. She knows how to handle a broken heart. She would love it so much it will mold itself into something beautiful to look at. You'd hardly recognize it, and neither would a small town boy who lives in his feast. Three, the only memory you have of your first fight would be your blood on his knuckles, because you shouted at a boy whose intentions were calmer than his anger. On days when the fight has been forgotten, suck off the blood and use it as lipstick when you appear as cross-dresser. Four, dress up flowers. Gather the sweat from every sex he forced you to have with him into bottles. And notice how the flowers grow from your DNA. These are your children now. You'll talk to them, breathe them, and watch them blossom into something you were never bold enough to be. Five, be positive. The ones who do not make it far will look like a reminder of all your failures. But so what? if you failed at the hands of a dubious teacher. Watch your body make rounds at the next auction, sold to the lowest bidder. And when, you're, and when you make poems out of your trauma, no one will clap or snap because they can't relate. They don't teach this kind of love. Thank you.